Okay, let's prepare texture files. First, prepare an original raster image of a character that you want to model. Notice that I prepared this one with a perfect front view to make it easier to deform the character for both right angles and left angles for modeling later on. This image size is about 2000 by 2000 pixels because it's kind of easy to handle. I intentionally added areas which are hidden or overlap by other objects. For example, the hair and the neck joint overlap by the face. So if you are going to prepare a new image from scratch, I strongly recommend to draw each object separately in layers like this. It's uh, also important to draw objects that may normally be invisible, like inside the mouth for opening the mouth and eyelids for closing the eyes. So when you prepare an original raster image for modeling, keep in mind that you will need separate objects like this by layers, depending on how you want to animate the character or depending on how you want to deform each object. You also need a guide image for repositioning objects in the modeler tool. For the guide image, make sure to write it in a PNG format with the background being transparent. If you need other guide images for different facial expressions, do the same thing for the each of those expressions that you may need. Finally, let, let's create a texture file. Creating texture file is essentially placing objects in a way that they don't overlap each other. The canvas size should be a square with each side of nth power of 2, such as 512, 1024, and 2048 pixels. Unless you're going to use your model for high resolution movies, we recommend the, uh, we recommend the canvas size of 1024 by 1024 pixels. So these are texture files. They are sorted by category like objects for clothing, objects for hair, objects for skin, and so forth. And try to fit objects of the same category in one texture file. The tip is to place big objects first and then small objects to fill the space. The more texture files you have, the bigger the model data becomes. So try to fit as many objects in each texture file as you can. When you're done placing objects, write it in a uh, PNG format with transparent background. This wraps up the preparation of texture files.